<laughs> James. My day. We got a 2020 E Pro F 19. 19 FBS. FDS. No, FBS. FDS. FB. FD. FBS. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, check one for me. And we're gonna be living in this full time come March. So we're gonna start making some YouTube videos. We've had people ask us what it looks like. So we're doing it for friends and family, but also just for a future for the YouTube channel and whatnot. So here's the beautiful front of the camper. We got our electric jack, which is super nice. Oh, we're getting all cinematic with this. Electric jack <laughs> on off. Okay, and we got a little light. Well, it's, it's bright fancy. out so you can't see. And we got a little LED strip right here. Super wow. fancy, yeah, it's pretty sick. So then we got our windshield, which is new on the 2020. The uh, 2019s and 18s didn't have that. And then on the driver's side, we got like pass-through storage. It's probably dark, yeah. but it goes all the way through. See on the other side. Um, this is the only storage under the camper, but it'll do. And then here's just the water connection where you fill up the tanks, uh, water heater, nothing crazy. I won't go into like specifics. I'll just try to show the camper. Um, then this is the slide out. The one we were originally gonna get didn't have the slide out. So um, we realized this offers so much more space, so it's a lot nicer to have. Um, and all the windows are, I call them like frameless or something. Uh, I'm not a construction builder guy, but um, you can basically have them open when it's raining and they're like pre-tinted, which is really nice. And then outdoor shower. Oh yeah, Hazel's not here. I know, we can't show her. Okay, so we got a little pit bull. She's five? Yeah. Five? Uh, and this is gonna be her shower outside. <laughs> um, so yeah, nice outdoor shower. And we got our poop pipe and electric. And then coming around back, um, we're gonna do some fancy design here, probably with Instagram or YouTube, something like that. And then up top, this thing's awesome because it's, it's hooked up for solar. So we have a 100 watt solar panel and then right behind the propane tanks on the front is actually our two batteries. So we're not hooked up to anything right now. Everything works other than AC, and I think the microwave. But uh, yeah, so we want to boondock a lot. On here, I can get a, we can get a shot in a little bit, but we're gonna have a grill, and you can have a little table set up. Um, and then there's a table inside that we're gonna be able to bring outside and use as our, our dinner table. Um, but yeah, so this is really cool. And then up here, is the other side for the pass through. I'm sure you guys probably can't see, but um, like I said, that's the only storage underneath. And then we just have an extra solar hookup right hither. There we go. Super slow. So I think it goes eight foot out and 11 feet wide, but it's actually, I mean, for the size camper, it's nice. This is our coat little camper, super broomy. Our little slide out, a fancy little couch, turn to a bed. Oh shit, the table's in the way. What does turn to a bed? The table's back See if there. I can. Yeah. That's that's the dinner table. Yeah, that's what you can put out. And then we got all this little storage up here. Goes all the way through. Yeah. What's I doing? <laughs> this is solar. That's how it works. Oh, that's the heat kicking on. So we got 73% solar right now. And then that is how much the battery. I mean, I'm not an electrician, dude, but that's the battery storage system. And then that's how much we're pulling in right now. So 3.6 amps, which is actually a lot because it's really sunny out, as you can see. On a cloudy day, it's at like 0.5. But yeah, so that's uh, solar and then got the heat kick in, which is down there. And All right. Over here. Oh yeah, and over there. So we got a full size fridge. I think it's full now. <laughs> I think it's full size. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut it, cut it. <laughs> this is gonna be our only closet space. It's gonna be great. <laughs> We have some under there where your feet are. Yeah. But yeah. 
Talk about, and then we got the speaker thing that's inside and outside. Oh, yeah. A radio that goes inside. He has credit and a seat. If you bring home 350 a week, you get up to $30,000 in credit. Now I run out here. And that up, that speaker's running now. Yeah. I, it's my mother's fault, really. She coddled me. Springfield, Mitsubishi. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then we got our TV that goes out. And we can watch it even though we're not on cable because of what's it called? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. You we only get certain channels. You hit this button and it gets everyone else's cable. So. And then there's the Wi Fi. Yeah, and the Wi Fi Ranger. Turn on. That's our Wi Fi password, I think. Yeah. I mean, it says password right there. Oh, you know what? <laughs> so the Wi Fi Range Extender, if you're at like a campsite, essentially, um, essentially <clears throat> does what you think, it extends the Wi Fi range. And you can also put an LTE chip in there for boondocking, which we're gonna be doing a lot, so we might get that yeah. eventually. But so you can do Wi-Fi or LTE, but it comes with Wi-Fi only. So yeah, and back to Madison. Another cool thing: we have a full-size oven or full-size camper oven, I guess you would say. So we can cook like everything in there, pretty much. Super fancy. Not just like a sheet of cookies. It's getting really hot. Okay. Anyway, this is our stove. I made a good doo doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> what? You hit the button. I know. It went what, what, what? But yeah, that's our stove. I'm super great at explaining things. Yeah. And then we got all this storage. We bought some stuff out here. These little racks to divide everything. Dollar store plates and, and, and bowls. Glasses, oh yeah. yeah. Everything from the dollar store except for these these things. Are from yeah. But they look fancy. Yeah, they look super fancy. Makes more storage. And we got these from Ikea. This thing. We had to cut this one because it was the wrong size, but yeah. Super artsy. Yeah, there's nothing in here, I don't think. Nope. Empty. And this is our sink. Cutting board fits perfectly off the top. Yeah. Oh, it's all messed up. Let's go to the potty room. So yeah. Basic stuff we need: shower, toilet, sink. There's me. It you. It Mary. Got a good amount of storage in there. Yeah, and we got oh, some outside, done in that little guy. Barely any. So yeah. no, if we put shelves in, we can fit more stuff, but mm. we'll see. Now we're gonna put the toilet paper holder, which we realized yesterday. Well, we're gonna. I don't have like a wide enough lens. So back in this corner above the toilet, we're gonna do try to do a rack system. We saw. Other Instagram people use them. Yeah. So we're gonna put like towels and toiletry stuff back there. And then another cool thing oh, about the, the water. So, I don't know. Um, this blue thing, when you turn the hot water on, uh, it'll turn gray. And once it turns gray, you flick this switch right here. And, oh, oh. yeah. And once you flick it, the water will come out. So basically, the water will get hot before you even use the shower so you don't have to waste water because this camper is kind of designed for boondockers um it's designed for both but we're gonna be doing a lot more boondocking and that's why we got this trailer it's a little bit more expensive than others but um it has the simple stuff like the water saver the solar it comes with two batteries um super well insulated because we want to do some cold stuff i know maddie doesn't want to but i want to go up north and stuff and go skiing or or whatnot in the winter sometimes so but yeah uh and then we got our, we got our yeah we got all up here for clothes or we want to kind of make it like nice looking so we're not just gonna like dump clothes up there but i'm sure we'll use for something maybe jackets and we got our ac but we can't use that on solar for anybody that knows rvs and or solar you need a lot of solar power to be able to run that we made these super cute little things while i made them for the Jeep keys to be pulling it, our camper, and then the dog, because her leash needs a spot to go, so. Yeah, good old Hazlitt. Yeah. And then this is the uh, control panel. We got interior lights on off. Port, the awning light that I showed you, the LED one out there, and then this shows you solar. So solar's at two thirds, fresh water is empty, and then all these are empty, because we, we just got the camper, and then, um, what's also nice about this is, um, so the, water tanks have a heater attached to it or like it's um it's, it's a heater that goes under the tanks basically allows you to heat up the tanks so that the water doesn't freeze 
uh, inside the tank and then you get frozen lines and they crack and all that good stuff. Now I'm going to take you up to the roof and show you all the, the goodies. <laughs> Climbing with one hand is fun. Alright, so this black thing right here is for the bathroom. Um, it's basically the fan but for the bathroom, but what's nice is that it has this cover on it so you can um, like let it open when it's raining or snowing or well, you wouldn't really want to open when it's snowing, but raining, you can have it open. Yeah, when it's snowing. And then this is your, your poopy thing. So basically it'll, it lets out some, some uh, of the smell. And then here is the solar solar panel. Right now it's, we only have a 100 watt panel. It comes with it from the factory, but I think we're gonna upgrade to a 200 watt panel or just do 100 and then 100 uh, side by side. And then all the way up there, I don't feel like walking on the roof with my camera. That black thing past the AC is the um, not antenna. I mean, I guess it is an antenna for the TV, like the satellite. And you can you can change the direction of it from inside the camper. And then those little two antennas over there. This is probably horrible, but that's the Wi-Fi extender that I was telling you guys about. So you just open the box and you can install your LTE. And there's Maddie. Oh hey. Um. <laughs> So yeah, our plan is move out in March. I get out of the military in uh, beginning of April, but technically it's going to be March as my last drill. So we've been count or trying to do this for I don't know, maybe two years, three mm -hmm. years, probably two years now. Um, and we just got back from Asia, and the whole time we were there, all we kind of talked about besides like the trip and stuff like that was as soon as we get back, we wanted to buy a camper and go out west, go up into Canada. I really want to go into Canada. Um, because I don't really see there's a bunch of places places in Canada that people don't <clears throat> don't go and national parks that aren't super crowded so but yeah that's the plan we're gonna I'm gonna try to make some videos around the camper and stuff like that besides just travel videos and we we'll do a video too once we get the jeep yeah yeah so Maddie's gonna get a, a jeep to tow super excited <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah that'll be uh this is the new hizzle Again, it's a E-Pro 19 FPS, and I'm sure we'll have plenty more videos showcasing everything and going over the little stuff, but that's uh, our video, and it's probably not the best, but whatever. All right, peace.